All right, today we're here, by the way, my name's Ralph and Charles is behind the camera, and we're here with the, the trick that uh, we sometimes use on these matrix dots. A lot of people inquire about the matrix dots and how to deal with them. Well, this is one of many techniques I've seen that work. It's one of my personal favorites, um, especially on a Mustang. Everybody knows that a Mustang has the matrix dots at the top. And just to save time, I've already cleaned and prepped the inside of this glass, and I've already uh, shrunk some tint uh, over this glass. Now I went ahead and if you see this up here, I went ahead and shrunk the entire window dots and all and then I went back and I just cut at the bottom row of dots a straight line and I've separated the top part from the bottom part. One of the reasons I did that is this is the cheapest, quickest, easiest way for me to have a pattern to cut this out with. I'm just going to use this to put on top of the black material which by the way the technique is to put a black, jet black, opaque vinyl on the inside and I'm going to cut it out to duplicate this piece of tent here and then I'm going to install it on the inside. I'm going to install it um, after I install the tent. It's going, to, it's going to be installed last. But then I want to take you to the glass behind me and show you how we do this. Um, you know, first we determine which side is the release liner, which is the side facing me. And one way I check is I like to bite it and see. Uh, just to make sure, because I do want the release liner facing me in this example. And uh, I want to go ahead and I want to put the tent pattern above me so I can see it. Then I take my vinyl, opaque, I'll put it on the glass. I'd say that's about the length I need. Hey Charles, if you don't mind, can you give me a hand? Can you hold the vinyl up? I, I really like to be conservative with this stuff because uh, I can just really get a lot out of it just by putting it up there like that. That way I'll go ahead and know exactly what I need to cut. Just so I'll have some more left over for some more back windows. Now, pull the excess up, and then all I do is cut that out. We can videotape me cutting it out, and then we'll take a quick pause, and we'll put the tent on the glass, and then when I'm installing this, I'll show you how to install it and what it looks like. Now, I do want to squeeze you this down. I like to double check. Sometimes I make mistakes, but um, I've got the release liner facing me on the opaque, and I want to make sure. See, I've got the release liner facing me also on the strip, not my pattern. I always want to break my blade so I can get a good sharp blade, and then I'm just going to freehand cut this. Just take my time. It's not hard to do. Uh, I've cut this pattern exactly probably an eighth, maybe even a quarter of an inch larger than it needs to be so that it'll hide behind the, the black portion on the glass. It overlaps the clear part. To know more about the brand and what kind of vinyl this is and where to buy it, you can visit our blog and Charles tell them where they can visit to see www.tentguys.wordpress.com or you can email us at tentguys at gmail.com I almost have to hold my breath to cut this one because this line's got to be perfect. This is the line that matches the matrix dots, almost identical. I mean, I really cut these and took my time. And I want to, I mean, cut right on the line. It gets kind of hard to see it for me in this fluorescent light. But I can still do it. I want to get in a hurry, just take my time, because this is my last cut to make this perfect. Anything else has turned out just great. 
I undercut that a little bit. We can always go back. I'd rather cut it where I can come back and trim off a little more than trim too much. So I can always get it perfect. Just a little mistake can kind of set you back sometimes. I gotta do a little trimming on this, but otherwise it's almost perfect like I want it in places. All right, I'm happy with that. All right, now we'll pause for a minute. We'll put it, uh, I'll have the video to where I'm putting it on the matrix dots and a close up of what it looks like. And uh, when we come back, thanks. All right, just take it. So it's just like the tent. Go ahead and talk. Black vinyl. This is the vinyl I'm talking about. Instead of it being paint, yeah. it's going to be the. <laughs> the other way around. Ralph likes to eat the tent. I think all tenders do. There we go. A little tricky. It actually takes a few times for me to get this figured right. Because I want to get it just perfect. It probably doesn't slide around much, it, does it? Well, it doesn't, and I can't, you can't see it either. You, you know, you can see through tent, but you can't see through this. So that makes it a little fun. Once I get something going here in a minute, it'll it'll all work you out. You spray some water? Nah, I'm fine. I sprayed it already. I uh, just missed it on the inside. That's all I had to do. I'm really following the line because I know where it has to go to, and I know it'll all work out for me here in the end. Trying to make sure I have no light gaps, and which I'm doing pretty good with. That's all I got to deal with, and at this point, is get these up just a little bit. Sometimes I can feel I feel something on here. I, Try to get it all. Now I will admit, I do struggle with these a little bit. They're, they don't, they're not as easy as the tent. Not at all. Sometimes it takes
It looks good. Does it look good out there? Yeah. Now you see him. Now you don't. Now come on the inside and show what it looks like. Show uh internet world what these look like on the inside they really look good I mean they black it out they take all the bad look out of a matrix dock they really don't look bad at all they look like part of the rest of the car wow look at that that's it folks that's I'm the... gonna clean the glass